So look, I'm recording right now. I just want you to tell the certified gang who the sexiest YouTuber in the world is. Tell, tell them real quick. Keiko Baby. And what about Keiko Baby is sexy, you know what I'm saying? Like, like just, just let them know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's inappropriate what I have to say. Oh, okay. Um... I'm just personality. Yeah, my personality. Okay, I'm gonna just cut the video right here. Who wants to get certified gang? It's your boy Keiko, and I'm back with another video. Welcome back to More Than Football. Now, I have no idea what I was just doing, but what's good, y'all? <laughs> what's good, certified gang? It's your boy Keiko, and I'm back with another video. Welcome back to More Than Football. This is football from a semi pro football player's perspective. And man, do I have some big news for y'all. As a lot of you guys already know, I play semi-pro football in the LDFL for the team, the Santa Clarita Valley Tigers. <laughs> and in a lot of my videos, I've been letting y'all know, I've been like, hey, bruh, stay tuned because my season starts in January. I'm gonna be bringing y'all game day vlogs, practice vlogs, different things like that. But as of today, I have an official first game date for y'all. Now, I was telling y'all January, but boy, was I completely wrong, man. The LDFL was thinking something different. But y'all just gotta understand, man, Corona is still crazy over here in California. My first game will be April 10th, 2021. Now, I know a lot of y'all like, damn, bro, that's far as hell away, like almost six months away. Yes, it's a little pushback further than I thought it was gonna be, but like I said, man, April 10th is a safe date. But the good thing is my team actually starts practice in November, so that's next month. So y'all will be getting a lot of practice vlogs, a lot of different things with that. The good thing is, is that around April, I don't think any of you guys will be in season so you guys can watch me play, you know what I'm saying? All attention, all eyes, you hear me? But with me finding out the date, it kind of inspired this video. I was kind of thinking to myself, I'm like, we do a lot of ranking of like, you know, college teams, one to 25 we do a lot of rankings of the best nfl teams but nobody does semi-pro so i thought to myself i'm like why don't i rank all of the teams in my semi-pro football league from best to worst from worst to best i really want to give y'all some insight on the competition that i will be facing in the ldfl ranking all of the teams in my semi-pro football leagues from best to worst let's get right into it man leave a like down below subscribe to the channel if you're new follow me on ig and let's get to it baby all right certified gang so before we actually get into ranking each team i just want to introduce each team to y'all tell y'all a little bit about their record uh through five games last season because they all got to play five games before uh like corona shut the whole season down and everything like that uh, but just so y'all can get a little bit of background on each team, and then we're going to get into the actual ranking. But shout out every team on here, all of y'all certified, man. As you can see, these are the standards right here in the LDFL. You have the SoCal Apaches. They went 5-0. and This team is for show sure certified, bro. We actually played that team, and uh, we lost. We got messed up. Like, they they tore our ass up. You heard me not playing with them. Then you got the Inglewood Blackhawks. I've talked about this team before, bro. One of the top teams every single year, bro. They be winning rings all the time. Uh, they beat us, too. You feel me? They whooped our ass. You know what I Beat our ass. You hear me? Uh, then you got the San Diego Silverbacks. They're 4-1. Now, me personally, I never got to play this team or anything like that. Um, but apparently, you know, they're really good, too. You got the Kern Oilers. Oilers. Got the Kern Oilers. They was 2-2. Uh, two and two. Never really knew much about them. Then you got the Santa Cruz Valley Tigers. Rawr! You know how we are. You know what I'm saying? We went 2-2. Two and two. We started out the season very, very strong. But then we faced the top two teams. And we got our ass whooped. Like, I see you hear me. But anyways, uh, then after that, you got the Sin City Rough Riders. This team was actually based in Las Vegas. Uh, we played them and we beat them. You got the 805 Bears. We got a good relationship with them. West Coast Lions, 1-4. and four, uh, Megatown Bulldogs, 0-5. North County Zulus, 0-5. And, and these are pretty much the teams. Now, when I get into the ranking, I'm not going to rank them by their record because there's a couple teams that we've actually played that actually were decent, but just, you know, certain things happen. But uh, anyways, those are all the teams in the LDFL. So let's get into actually ranking these teams, dog. All right, so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to rank the worst all the way up to the best. You know what I'm saying? 10 to 1. And if anybody that plays in this league or plays on these teams, you don't agree with me. You feel me? It's agree to disagree. There's no hate nowhere. But number 10 for me has to be the Mecca Town Bulldogs. You know what I'm saying? It's a team that I really don't know too much about. But the reason I put them at number 10 is because, yes, the Zulus had the worst, you know, record in the whole entire league. But I actually played the Zulus and I kind of know what the competition was like. 
Um, and I just got to put the Mecatown Bulldogs at number 10 in the rankings. Next up at number nine, I'm going to have to put the West Coast Lions at number nine. You feel me? This is another team that I haven't personally played. But like I said, bro, I actually played the Zulus and I knew what the competition was like. So just I'm going to have to go kind of based off the record. And I'm going to have to put the West Coast Lions at number nine. You remember? Now at number eight, this is where I'm going to put the North County Zulus. And the reason I put them at number eight is because the Zulus actually did have talent, bro. Like they, they really did have talent. But I just feel like as a team, they just wasn't, you know, together as a team like that. So it made it hard for them to win. You know what I'm saying? Because when we played the Zulus, like we were winning by a lot. But they ended up like coming back. Uh, near the end of the game. So I really think that the Zulus were a better team than what the record shows. So that's why I put them at number eight. At number seven, I'm gonna have to put the Sin City Rough Riders, a team based in Las Vegas. Um, I actually played this team and we we beat them pretty well. Um, they, they were decent. They did have a little talent here and there. Um, the 805 Bears had a worse record than the Sin City Rough Riders, but I just feel like 805 Bears, uh, they do got a good program and, and, and good players and everything over there. It's just, like I said, bro, it's a team sport. So, you know, you could be having a good lot of players. It just has to come together as a team. So, uh, Sin City Rough Riders are at number seven. Next up at number six, I'm going to have to put the 805 Bears. Now, like I said, bro, the uh, Santa Cruz Valley Tigers and the 805 Bears, we actually got a real good relationship with them. We actually, like, scrimmage against them and practice with them, um, like, during its time to practice, like, preseason stuff. And um, the 805 Bears, they got a lot of good players, bro, and coaching staff and everything is, like, professional. Professional, very, very professional over there, man. And they got the drip. I love the black and red that they got. Uh, but, you know, it was just a couple games. They, they played a couple hard games, Inglewood, Blackhawks, and, and different things like that. Um, but I'll be looking forward to how they are this season. So I put them at number six, dog. At number five, I'm going to have to put the Kern Oilers. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know too much about this team, like I said earlier. Um, I think they are a new team or something like that. But apparently, they were decent, two and two. Um, in the season don't really know anybody that plays for over there if you guys uh, play for them or anything Let me know down in the comments, but uh current Oilers I'm gonna have to put them at number five in the rankings at number four. I'm gonna have to put the roar, roar, SCV Tigers man my team I'm gonna have to put them at number four and obviously, like, a lot of y'all going to think, oh, you're ranking them high because you play with them, bro. No. I just really believe we were truly number four. We really did have a lot of weapons. Like, honestly, even the coaches will tell you, like, this past season, we had the most talent the, the Tigers have probably had in a long time. You know what I'm saying? We was looking certified for sure, for sure. We just played a couple hard games against the top two teams. And, um, you know, that kind of, you know, put us behind. And we really didn't know, you know, we, we needed them losses, though. Don't get it twisted. We needed them losses. But I think once we hit them losses, it kind of put a bad taste in everybody's mouth. So hopefully this season we learn how to keep up with our talent and learn how to lose. You know what I'm saying? But I put us at number four. Now, at number three, I'm going to have to put the San Diego Silverbacks. Um, from what I've heard, bro, they got a lot of certified players. I ain't going to lie. And just looking on paper, they look like a really, really good team. Like I said, I've never played this team before, so I don't know too much about them. But, like I said, they're certified, man. They were 4-1 and one on the season last season. So, obviously, you know, they were winning games and everything like that. And I'm looking forward to playing them uh, this upcoming season, dog. So, now we're at our top two. And at number two, I'm going to have to put the SoCal Apaches, okay? Now, like I said, we played this team, bro, and they whooped our ass, bro. We had a little bit of a game at first. But then they whooped our ass, bro. It's a really good program up there. They got a lot of talent. And, um, you know, they just know how to play together as a team, bro. And like I said, football is a team sport. So when you play as a team, you're going to beat a lot of teams that just got talent and everything like that, bro. And the SoCal Apaches, man, they got this one good wide receiver. I think his number was like 88 or something like that. He scored on me. I'm not even going to lie. He scored. But the SoCal Apaches, I think they land up there at number two in the ranking. And obviously, that brings us to number two. One. You know what I'm saying? Number one, you already know who it is. It's the Englewood Blackhawks, man. Year after year after year, they got ring after ring after ring. They like the Patriots of the league, except they don't really like cheat or anything like that, bro. They always got the talent. They got a full squad and everything like that. Drip go crazy. And, um, you know, obviously on the year they were 5-0. and 0, 
and they were probably looking at you know winning it all again and everything like that. They just always got a lot of dogs, bro. And I think they recently had a player go to the XFL from the Blackhawks. So that just tells you what type of talent they have. And um, you know, as being an underdog, I always love playing top tier competition, bro. Like I really, really want to play them next year. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's all love to every single one of these teams where they rank. Now, obviously, this was based on last season. We'll have to see what they are like this season, you know what I'm saying, because new players come through and things change and stuff like that. So you'll just never know. We'll see in this upcoming season what uh, everything looks like and what the teams look like. We may have a couple new teams enter. I don't know. You feel me? You feel me? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But that was ranking all of the teams in my semi-pro football league from worst to best. You feel me? Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Shout out the LDFL. Shout out every single team, man. Shout out the certified gang. And I am out, dog. Yes, sir.